Hi, in this video, we will discuss about web workers in HTML5. Web workers is basically very important and one of my favorite feature of HTML5. What it does is basically it takes the big running process in the background. For example, if you click a button and that button is taking some number of seconds in completing the task. So until the particular task is completed, you will not able to do any other work in the HTML that will just got stuck. But these web workers can basically take the things on the back end so that if there is some asynchronous thing which is not dependent on your other task, so it can be taken in the background. So it will be executed in the background and meanwhile you can continue with your own work. So let's see how these web workers can be implemented in HTML5. So here for implementation of web workers, before doing that actually, let me show you how to work without the web worker. So basically here I have taken a couple of methods. One is big loop and another other is say hello. And I am invoking the both methods in the button clicks respectively. Now what I am doing in this big loop, I am executing this loop for around 1 billion times. And obviously that is going to take some time. And meanwhile, the, we'll get the answer. We can't do anything because it is not running in the background in this particular one. All right. So let's see how it is working for now. So basically here, there are two buttons which I can see. I'll click on say hello. Hello from tutorials point, the simple message. But when I will click on the big loop, here you can see I'm getting the message after a bit pause. All right. And meanwhile, if I try to click directly on the uh, say hello means right after the clicking this button, if I will try to click on say hello, I will not be able to do that. Like let's see. Alright, so I tried a couple of times, but you see I did not. So let me just increase this duration for a bit like, okay, let's 3 billions. Let me refresh it now. Alright, now you can see it's taking some time. Alright. And meanwhile, I will not be able to click on this hello function. All right. Now, once I will get that, only then I will be able to click over the other button. All right. So this is how it is working without the web worker. Now, let's see how to make a change in the same program, but now we'll implement the web workers. So first of all, I have created an another file with the name bigloop.js which is actually executing this loop for the 1 billion times again and as soon as it will be done it will just send a message and the message will be nothing but j j which is the value means the value that is 1 billion let's make it 3 billion again as we were short of bit time so 3 billion will be good so obviously your number of execution will be depending on your system's performance. So you can just check and accordingly you can plan how many times you want to execute to see the difference. Now let's come to demo.html and here you can see I have incre included a script path. Obviously this is not the compulsory thing to do but what I'm trying to do here I'm getting this modernizer.webworker from this library. So basically this will tell whether my browser is compatible with the web worker or not. But obviously if you are working with the latest one that will be working. So what I will do now, I will just go inside and then only if the web worker is compatible, only then I will execute my this code. So what it will do, it will say worker big loop.js as the location of both the things like this demo.html and big loop is same so i'm just giving the name and on message on message means as you have observed that this is posting a message at the end of this program so on message means as soon as i'll get the message what it will do on that particular event this callback function will get executed and on the result what it will do is it will just put this alert message all right like this com this number of iterations have been completed all right but as i said like this is now under web worker so it should be at the background so let's save the changes and let's refresh my browser obviously the output is still the same so let's click on say hello obviously it's working fine 
clicked on big loop clicked on say hello again i got the message and maybe in a bit of time i will get the big loop message as well as now you can see all right so this is now done so you can see it is working on the background meanwhile i will get the message from that post message of big loop.js i can do anything and as soon as i'll be done i will get this particular message done so anywhere in the program when you want to put something on the background then you can go for the web workers and can achieve functionalities asynchronously so this is how to work with the web workers in html5 tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning